A magical, magical afternoon for Pierre-Emerick. What if I told you about a footballer who went from being one of the most wanted, mercilessly fast strikers to a career that suddenly crumbled right in front of our eyes? Yeah, that's the story of Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang, a name once synonymous with speed, goals, and dazzling performances, but also a tale of a shocking downfall that left everyone stunned. In this video, we're about to dive deep into Aubameyang's wild journey, from the memories of him playing for some of the biggest clubs in the world, to the personal battles that would shake his foundations, to moments of pure brilliance that lit up stadiums, and of course, the twists and turns no one saw coming. All right, let's rewind it all the way back to the very start. Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang, born in 1989 in Laval, France, but with deep roots in Gabon. His dad, Pierre Aubameyang, wasn't just any footballer. He was a Gabonese international legend. Imagine growing up with a father who's basically a national hero. Football wasn't just a pastime for young Oba. It was in his DNA from the very beginning. Aubameyang joined the youth system at AC Milan, one of the biggest clubs in Europe. This was his golden ticket, his chance to explode onto the scene. But here's the kicker. He never made a senior appearance for Milan. That's right. Despite training with some of the best, he never got to step onto the big stage. Can you imagine that? Being at such a colossal club, surrounded by elite players, but not getting the chance to show what you're made of. But, and here's where it gets cool, Oba didn't give up. His dad was right there by his side, guiding him, keeping him focused, reminding him that this was just the beginning. And let's not forget, even back then, he was known for one thing, speed. He was lightning. In training, defenders couldn't even get close. But here's the thing, being fast wasn't enough. He needed to round out his game, become more than just a blur on the pitch. So what did he do? He went out on loan. Dijon, Lille, Monaco. Aubameyang was bouncing around, trying to find his rhythm. Each move was a chance to learn, to adapt, to grow. And here's the part of his story most people don't see. We all know the superstar he eventually became, but these early years, the frustrations, the missed chances, these are the moments that laid the foundation for what came next. But trust me, we're just getting started. His real breakthrough, it's coming up next. If we talk about the real turning point in Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang's career, the moment when he truly started to make his mark, after bouncing around on loan spells in France, Oba was still searching for that big break. Think about it. He had the speed, the raw talent, but he just wasn't getting that consistent chance to prove what he could really do. Then, in 2011, he made a move that changed everything. Saint-Étienne. Now, if you're not super familiar with Saint-Étienne, they're not one of those big, flashy clubs. But for Aubameyang, this was the perfect place to finally show the world what he was capable of. But, and here's the catch, it wasn't all smooth sailing at the start. In his first season, Oba struggled to really make an impact. But then came the game changer, Christophe Galtier. Now, this is where things get really interesting. Galtier, the manager of Saint-Étienne at the time, saw something special in Aubameyang, something others hadn't quite figured out yet. He recognized Oba's insane speed and relentless work rate. But he also realized the young forward needed some fine tuning, especially when it came to finishing. So, Galtier made some key changes. He didn't just stick Oba out wide as a winger. He gave him a shot as a center forward, where his speed could become a nightmare for defenders. And guess what? That decision flipped the switch. Oba worked tirelessly, staying back during off seasons, laser focused on improving his finishing. Galtier even called him a war machine. And seriously, those were his exact words. By his second season, Oba was on fire. He smashed in 19 goals in the 2012 to 13 season, finishing second only to the legendary Zlatan Ibrahimovic in the League One scoring charts. This was a guy who, not too long ago, couldn't find his rhythm and 
Now he was one of the most feared attackers in League One. And it wasn't just the goals that stood out. Saint-Étienne hadn't won any major silverware in years. But in 2013, with Oba leading the charge, they lifted the Coupe de la Ligue, their first major trophy in over three decades. You could feel it. Something had clicked for him. It was clear. His time at Saint-Étienne was just the beginning. So, what happens after you become a breakout star in France? You get a call from Borussia Dortmund, and that is where Aubameyang's journey really takes off. And guess what? He didn't come in as the main striker. Nope. He was brought in as a winger, which made complete sense given that lightning speed of his. But if you thought the story ended there, think again. Robert Lewandowski, Dortmund's star striker, packed his bags and left for Bayern Munich. And suddenly, it was Oba's moment to shine. The coaches? Oh, they saw something in him. They made the call to turn him into a full-blown striker. And let me tell you, that decision changed everything. Now, just imagine the pressure. Lewandowski, one of the best strikers on the planet, had left some pretty big boots to fill. But did Aubameyang crack under the weight? Not even close. He thrived. His speed, his positioning, and now his lethal finishing were all coming together in perfect harmony. In Dortmund's high-octane, attack-focused system, Aubameyang became a living nightmare for defenders across Europe. The goals? They started flooding in. And just like that, he became the heartbeat of Dortmund's attack. But hold on, because Aubameyang wasn't finished. That same season, he was an unstoppable force in front of goal. He racked up a jaw-dropping 40 goals during the 2016-17 season, breaking the club's record for non-German players. 40 goals in a single season. And as if that wasn't enough, he snatched the Bundesliga golden boot, outscoring, yep, you guessed it, Robert Lewandowski. And the fans? Oh, they absolutely loved him. He wasn't just another player. He was the guy who could light up the entire Westfalen Stadion with a single touch. Of course, every rise to the top comes with its challenges. But during those golden years at Dortmund, Aubameyang cemented himself as one of Europe's elite strikers. The guy who once struggled to get game time at AC Milan was now breaking records, winning trophies, and leading one of Europe's most exciting clubs. So. What comes after you shattered records and become a star? For Aubameyang, the answer was clear. The Premier League was calling, and it came with a club record transfer to Arsenal. Arsenal splashed out a club record 60 million pounds to bring him to the Emirates. And the pressure? Oh, it was immense. But here's the thing. While that kind of spotlight might crush others, it seemed like Aubameyang thrived on it. He hit the ground running and instantly became Arsenal's go-to man. In just two and a half seasons, Oba stacked up an unbelievable 70 goals. We're not talking about just another big money signing. Aubameyang was the guy who single-handedly revitalized Arsenal's attack. It was like flicking a switch. Suddenly, the Gunners had a striker who could terrify defenders and win games. Need proof? Let's break down two of his most iconic performances. First up, the 2018 North London Derby. Arsenal versus Tottenham. If you know anything about football, you know this isn't just a match, it's a battle. Oba didn't just play, he dominated. He bagged two goals, including an absolute screamer from outside the box that curled into the top corner. Arsenal walked away with a 4-2 win, but Aubameyang's performance? It was the kind that gets talked about for years. He was everywhere, and by the end of the game, he'd cemented himself as a fan favorite. Then, let's talk about the 2020 FA Cup Final. But once again, Aubameyang showed why he's built for the big moments. He netted twice in one of those goals, a stunning solo effort that left the Chelsea defense scrambling. But here's the thing. Oba's time at Arsenal wasn't just about stats or accolades. It was about those unforgettable moments. Aubameyang proved time and time again that he wasn't just a great player. He was built for the biggest stages. And even though his Arsenal chapter was filled with epic highs, it was far from the end of his journey. 
Now, here's where the story takes a sharp turn, the beginning of Pierre Emerick Aubameyang's downfall. In 2020, Oba inked a massive contract extension with Arsenal. But then, almost inexplicably, things started to unravel. The goals that once came so easily dried up, and Aubameyang seemed to lose his edge. But the real trouble wasn't just on the pitch. Aubameyang started missing crucial matches, not because of injuries, but due to disciplinary issues. Reports surfaced of him turning up late to key meetings, breaking team protocols, and letting his off-field distractions bleed into his professional life. And then, the unthinkable happened. In 2021, after repeated clashes with the club's manager, Aubameyang was stripped of the captaincy. This was a massive fall from grace. For a player who had once been the heartbeat of the squad, the one they looked to for inspiration, it was a stunning fall. It marked the beginning of the end for Aubameyang at Arsenal. After being stripped of the captaincy, watching his form slip and clashing with management, Aubameyang left the club on a free transfer to Barcelona. It was the end of an era at the Emirates, but even as the curtain closed on his Arsenal chapter, the memories he left behind were indelible. His heroic performances in finals, these moments will live on in the hearts of Arsenal fans for years to come. Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang joined Barcelona in early 2022, and at first, he did great. But then, Robert Lewandowski arrived and Aubameyang's chances to play became limited. Things also got worse off the field when he and his family were victims of an armed robbery. With all this happening, Chelsea offered him a way out, and he moved there for 12 million euros. At Chelsea, things didn't go as planned. His old coach from Borussia Dortmund, Thomas Tuchel, was there. But soon, Tuchel got fired. Aubameyang wasn't able to find his form and spent a lot of time on the bench, scoring just three goals in 21 matches. It became clear Chelsea wasn't working out for him. In the summer of 2023, Aubameyang made a move to Marseille in France. This gave him a fresh start, and he started showing flashes of his old self again. Though not perfect, it was a better fit. After that, Aubameyang made another big move, this time to the Saudi Pro League. It was a new chapter in his career, offering him both a big challenge and a nice financial reward. He'll be remembered for his blistering pace, precise finishing, and a knack for scoring memorable goals. Whether it was his hat tricks at Dortmund or his heroics in cup finals at Arsenal, Oba gave us moments that will live on in football history. Even though his career faced challenges later on, especially during his time at Arsenal and Barcelona, his influence at Dortmund and Arsenal is undeniable. He played a key role in some of their biggest successes, and his ability to step up in high pressure moments made him a fan favorite. As we reflect on his journey, it's clear that Aubameyang's story is one of highs and lows. From his rise to stardom, dominating in Europe, to the struggles that followed, you can't help but wonder what could have been if things had played out differently. But regardless of the bumps along the way, Oba's impact on modern football is set in stone. 